Okay guys, it is time to get out of here and head to the airport because today we leave on our cruise. Good morning, this is Mike from uh, United Aircraft. And as you can see, yes we are on our plane but we were in kind of a rush but we still made it on time and we're flying out of Newark and we're on our flight to Fort Lauderdale. And then we're going to be getting on the Oasis of the Seas. Uranus of the Seas. <laughs> Uranus of the Seas. <laughs> so, we're now off the coast of Florida. We got about 45 minutes until we landed Fort Lauderdale. Just got done watching a movie. Might kill a little bit of time playing some mini games. Nothing out of the We made it to Fort Lauderdale, we're getting our bags, and we got a couple hours to kill before we get on our boat. So we're on our way to the cruise terminal and we're in kind of a situation because we got all our bags except my bag and a lot of them, all my clothes were in there and hopefully we'll get our, we'll get my bag pretty soon. Because I am seriously not in the mood to film anything. Even though I am filming something. But at least things should probably be fine when we get on board the ship. This right over here, that, that is not even half the ship. Okay, this is going to be a quick tour of my stateroom. Stateroom 14727 on Oasis of the Seas. Yeah, 14727. Okay, so first off, you got two beds that can be converted into a, I believe, king size bed. These staterooms offer contemporary style, like, like this here. You got some artwork there. There's light shining over it. And beside this side of the bed, you got a tissue box, some storage area, some night light here. And then there you've got also a night light. I believe those are the switches for that. There's a, your stateroom telephone, storage area there. More artwork with light over it. And a sofa. I don't know if the sofa can be a sofa bed. And there is a vanity there. You got a couple water bottles over here. Ice is available upon request. And then you have a flat screen television. And a quick tip, you can actually use your stateroom television to book shows, reservations, and all that. I got some water bottles down there. There's my phone. Headphones. Those aren't important, but you have your cruise compass. 
Day 1, Saturday, August 8, 2015. Today we are departing Fort Lauderdale. And tomorrow is day 2, where we will be in Nassau. Oh, well, there's your stateroom television remote. Yeah, so this is a seven-night Eastern Caribbean cruise on Oasis of the Seas. And... This area, you have closet space, as you can see, and you even got a little safe to put your stuff in. I believe these might be towels. I'm not quite sure. There's some storage space here. I got my camera bag in there. And I got my bag for all my other crap that I haven't unpacked. I got my bathing suit. I don't know why. I might go to the sailway party tonight if there is one at the pool deck but as you can see you got storage space here and this is your mini bar where you gotta pay for what you take out of there you got some sprites cokes water bottles diet cokes I believe candies M&Ms mini chips ahoy and I have a Chips Ahoy in there. And this little drawer, or no, oh, this is one of two drawers for storage space. And this is the other one. And this is a small drawer conveniently equipped with a hair dryer. But I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. So this is the desk. Got a mirror here. Hi. This light can be turned on. Yeah. And well, there's my cup. If you purchase the soda package, you will get this cup, and you can get all the free drinks you want. And you could even use the Coke Freestyle machines on board this ship. So there's three American electrical outlets. But for whatever reason, are upside down. And under this right here, I don't know what that is. Apparently those are hooked up to here. There's another American outlet. There's a European outlet. I got another mirror here. Hey. This might be the air controller in here. This is the master switch for all the lights in this room. I think this one's a switch for the artwork. And one's a switch for, the, I believe, the bathroom. Oh no, it's for the room. I keep forgetting. But, but this is the switch for the bathroom. And for whatever reason, they have the light switches on the outside of the bathroom. That's probably not the most surprising thing, considering most cruise ships are built in Europe. I don't really know what this is. Breakfast menu? I, th I think there might be a few drink menus there. There's an onboard directory. A few magazines somebody must have left in here. I don't... Or no, one of them's for the art auctions. And I'm going to take you into the bathroom. Watch your step. So you got your towels. You got an adequately sized sink. Nothing too special in these cabinets, but there is a metal wastebasket. They conveniently give you a bar of soap. As well as shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, and other toiletries they don't provide you with, like aloe gel, sunscreen, toothpaste. And what's really sucks about that is that due to our luggage incident, I won't be getting my bag that has my toiletries until tomorrow when we arrive in Nassau, Bahamas some storage here. I don't know what these cups are for, but there's storage in this drawer. 
Got some. They got towels, toilet paper. They gave me an extra roll of toilet paper. And there's the toilet, nothing too special. And this shower, kind of like a space pod. <laughs> I believe that is a conveniently placed bar of soap. And this I've heard is a shampoo slash conditioner, but I've heard it can be kind of harmful to the hair. So I wouldn't bother with that. Thankfully you've got shampoo, conditioner, body lotion. Oh, there's a handle, the faucets. I believe that might be the drain. I don't know why I'm looking over every single area here. And that, I don't know what it's for. And then on the back door of your stateroom, you're given information on your assembly station, which happens to be, in this case, I'm in the Aqua Theater on deck six. Same as my parents. So we won't have separate stations, thankfully. And it's about 2.30, so our drill is in about an hour and a half. And then you've got, please make up room, do not disturb. But I guess that's going to be about it for this tour of the stateroom. And in the meantime, I'm going to get looking at my cruise compass and maybe getting ready for the drill. And I'll see you then. Hey guys, we just finished our muster drill and because my station was in the aqua theater and it was excruciatingly hot out, I am going to go for a swim on the pool deck. And we got some time to kill before I go up to the team meet and greet tonight. And we sail away pretty soon. And I got my GoPro ready. Well, I'm pretty much ready to call it a night from here. And an overview of this day. Getting to the airport, catching our flight on time. It actually wasn't as bad as we thought it was, because we were not the last people to get on board the plane. There were other people behind us, and as a result, we didn't take off until a little later. And about the whole lost bag situation, my dad is getting that sorted out, and when we stop at Nassau tomorrow, my bag will hopefully, it should be here by tomorrow, and we'll get that on the ship and to our room. Also in Nassau tomorrow, we have got the glass bottom boat tour planned. But then again, I'm not so sure. Because I'm still a little concerned regarding the crime rate in Nassau. And also we got AM thunderstorms in the forecast. So we'll see. And this whole day, it was fine. Just not as exciting as I had hoped. And as far as the teen meet and greet goes, that was fun, meeting people and stuff. And to all my people following my Blazing Magnet channel, unfortunately we are not going to be able to do gaming at sea. Because filming is apparently not allowed in the teens areas. But at least at night I could probably do some reports on it. So that'll probably make up for it. But we'll see what goes on tomorrow. And in the meantime, good night.